Blackbeard is trying his first ever gluten-free beer today. Kind of skeptical about the gluten-free beer. You going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We've got a can of Glutenberg Blonde Millet and Corn Beer by Brasseur Sans Gluten. Yeah, Millet and Corn Beer. I just noticed that. Like looking at the ingredients, it has water, millet, corn, demerara sugar, no dem demerara sugar, hops, and yeast. So there's no malt in this. I'm kind of scared. Let's crack her open. And see what we've got. Looks uh, looks quite light. Can get some head on you. Not really. Wow, that's different. It really didn't want a form head at all. It was anti head. It definitely looks okay. It doesn't have any kind of, I don't know, floaties or anything in it. Very nice level carbonation, apparently. It smells different. I, I don't know what that is. Let's give her a shot. Really? It's not very good. A little bit of niceness in the aftertaste, but the taste, taste? Yeah, I need to try that again, because something went wrong. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Oh, yeah, there's, I don't I can't describe it, but something that is in there, millet or corn probably, just really doesn't work for me. I am not a fan of this beer. I guess if maybe you have one of the couple actual reasons to not be able to have gluten, then maybe you could get used to this taste and it'd be okay for you, but... I'm okay with gluten in my beer. Quite okay with it. Crazy insane shit ton of facts for today being October 1st. In 1880, first electric lamp factory was opened by Thomas Edison. That's kind of world changing right there. Electric light for everyone. In 1908, Ford put the Model T car on the market at a price of $825 US. <laughs> Seems like a very affordable car, until you realize it was in 1908. Again, world changing. Cars for the masses. Yeah, I need to fix this. That, that's really starting to get annoying to me, that I hit that often. I'm going to end up spilling something again. I didn't want that. Though, if this was to spill... On the hardwood floor, that'd be okay, just on my couch. Yeah. In 1957, this date in the past, the first appearance of In God We Trust on U.S. paper currency. I don't know why they ever did that. It seems kind of dumb to me, because the whole church and state being separate thing, and yeah, whatever. 1958, NASA was created to replace the NACA, that was basically NASA, but without space. Yeah, so now NASA has space involved in it. 1969, Concord broke the sound barrier for the first time. Cheers to you. Talked about you a couple days ago, and it's, it's sad that there's no supersonic air travel available to anybody. I feel like the flavor of this beer is sad for my mouth. Oh, Jesus. No. So I already read the ingredients at the beginning there. It's got millet and corn and stuff in it. Oh, well, apparently it's 100% gluten-free, but still has 100% great taste. Can you see? There you go. That's a lie. 
Lie! Um, what do we got as far as the, uh, the, uh, ABV? Where is it? I'm not seeing it anywhere. How is it nowhere to be seen? There, four and a half. <laughs> yeah, this can, I don't like that lettering. It makes it hard to read. You have to have it at just the right angle to see it. Otherwise, it's almost invisible. It annoys me. One interesting thing that this is the first can I've ever actually seen with that on it. It actually has the nutrition facts on the can. It's kind of interesting. It doesn't make up for anything, really, in my opinion. But hey, you tried, I guess? On this date in 1971, Walt Disney World opened near Orlando, Florida in the U.S. It's pretty big. I've been there one time. I was in grade 8, I think, so... I was young enough to kind of appreciate some of the things, but a little too old to appreciate some of the things, and then also too young to appreciate a lot of the things. I really didn't go at a great age, but my mom and stepdad took me and my sisters there, uh, family trips, so why would I say no? Went to Universal Studios too, that was pretty cool. Yeah, and meh. If you care, you know. Oh. Fucker. The next fact is actually kind of funny because it's directly related to the fact I just read about. In 1982, so 11 years after opening Walt Disney World, Epcot opened at Walt Disney World. And yeah, I don't think I ever went to Epcot when we went there. I'm not even 100% sure what Epcot is. I don't really care. Meh. Finally in 1982, same day, same date, on the same day. Okay, here we go. Sony launched the first consumer compact disc player to the world. And subsequently, well not, not subsequently, like that's, I was only two years old. And I used a lot of cassette tapes up until I was probably like 13, 14 maybe. Then I started getting into CDs. So CDs definitely took a little while to replace tapes completely. That happened, and now CDs are barely even around. Uh, based, all, pretty much all digital now. Vinyl's kind of making a comeback, which is interesting, but... It's great sound quality compared to pretty much everything else, but I don't... I'm not the kind of guy who wants to just, like... Some, some albums I do, just put them on, listen from start to finish, but generally I like to make a playlist of a bunch of different albums and songs and stuff and just hit random. And you can't really do that with a record player. I don't think they make, like... CD changer style things for vinyl records. Be a hell of a thing though. Just to get this beer tasted good. That'd be a hell of a thing. If it magically became tasty in the last couple of drinks. That'd be great. This beer was actually recommended to me by I think her name is Sarah. Works at the downtown LCBO here in North Bay. And she didn't, she didn't recommend it, she recommended that I try it. I don't think she had actually tried it, so... If you happen to be watching this, Sarah... I, I don't... I don't endorse this, this gluten-free mess. With millet and corn in place of barley malt. Like I said, it tries, and there's a little bit of a decent flavor. I get the very, very end of it. But everything leading up to that very, very end of it... I don't like. You know what time it is. Time to kill the goddamn Glutenberg. Drink number the last. It did not become better by the end. Ah. So, Brasseur Sans Gluten. It's a freaking weird name for your brewery. Like, so I guess, do you make more than this that doesn't have gluten? Is there something that's good that has no gluten? Maybe? I'll have to look into that. Put the rating on this, your Glutenberg Blonde. 
is a three. Yeah, it wasn't like incredibly horribly offensive to me, which would have granted it a two. And there's a date here as well. You got the date ingredients, so you're not getting any penalties for that. It's just that is a three in the opinion of this tongue. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Oh yeah, should have done that at the end. Damn it. It's been a while since I've had one this crappy.